Oh my goodness, look at that cute. Oh my god. We're just leaving uh, breakfast. Ran! <laughs> and so next, we actually have a pretty exciting day today. We have some good plans. Next, we're gonna go get Ella her costume. I know it's a little bit late. We're just about up on Halloween. Ooh, it's cold. I wish I brought a jacket. I'm a dingle nut. I forgot. Oh. Woo! Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> you trying? Ooh! It's chilly, what is it's it's chilly. can I have a We gotta case go buy you a prize. Prize? Yep. Can I see your keys, Papa? So, so we're gonna go get her costume. I don't know what she's gonna wanna be. I don't even know what they still have out for like, what they have out for toddler okay, costumes. And then, we may or may not try a movie today. I'm not sure. Okay. okay. But we might try that. Um, and then I know for sure that later tonight, we're going to go like trick or treating on Tuesday night, Halloween night. Um, probably just around our neighborhood. But the mall every year also hosts like a little mini trick or treating so like the kids can dress up we go to the mall and then there's like participating stores that'll hand out candy um so we're gonna do that later tonight too we're just trying to kill a bunch of time so we're off or on our way i'm so excited to see what she's gonna pick out and be this year white one um not today but we are gonna try a zombie frappuccino today. Oh my goodness. Look at that Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, baby. Two teas, three teas. Alright, baby. Ella may have made her decision on Shimmer from Shimmer and Shine, but we're just taking a quick look around making a last minute decisions. So we just finished up lunch at the food court. Now we have about an hour to kill uh, and then we're gonna head back home, have her go down for her nap. We'll put her costume on and then we'll come back here cause we'll do like the trick or treating a little bit later. But I think it's between four and seven. But we're gonna stop in a Lush really quick to see what they have for like their Halloween stuff. Yes, baby. Oh my. <laughs> that is awesome. Yes, babe. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, look at the little snowman. I know I said we come in for Halloween, but I think all that stuff is pretty much gone. <laughs> Man, man in the moon. I get it. <laughs> we got Treaty Luxury Bath Melts. I don't think I've ever personally tried a bath melt myself, but I like how it, you can take it apart and use it more than once. We got some snow angels, sunny side plum snows, candy mountains. See what else? Oh, here are the um, Halloween packs. So. Last year I got, okay, so these are $30, the black hat. So last year I think I got the pumpkins, but I don't know where they are. We do have what maybe looks like a dragon egg, maybe. And then we have this little guy. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not sure where Ella went because all I see is. <gasps> Shine, shimmer, shimmer from shimmer and uh, shine. Screw it up. <laughs> We've been saying shimmer for like two hours. <laughs> as soon as the camera comes on, I screw it up. I'll show you guys our costume more when we get back to the mall. They're doing like a, I think I explained it earlier. Yeah. But she looked awesome. What, baby? Shine. Oh, we're shit, we're shimmer. <sighs> Can you say shimmer? 
shimmer. Your shimmer? Yeah, I want a blue. Blue? Maybe we'll find a girl there dressed as shine. Well, All right. Hold on, baby. Hold on, honey. Watch out, Papa. We're gonna get some. Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> Ella, over here, bud. Over here, honey. Look. No, that's not for trick or treating. <laughs> so, can I have that instead? I'm gonna start trying now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, you guys see the lady, baby. See the lady, baby. Say thank you. You're welcome. No, baby. Honey, Ella. <laughs> say hi. Go say hi. She loves PJ Masks. I know. <laughs> watch out, watch out, watch out. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Bob. Baby, right there, honey. Oh. Say thank you, Bob. Ella did really well at the mall. She filled up her whole basket. This was just milk that we had with us at the time, but she got a ton of candy already. Um, but I promise I'll show you our pumpkins too. So this is mine. I decided to bedazzle the eyes and kind of do like cobwebby stuff, and I glued some flowers on top. So. There's that, and then TJ's <laughs> is actually going to his job for a trunk or treating event uh, this weekend, so that was fun. Good morning, everybody. So we kind of have um, <clears throat> an interesting thing to do this morning. Hi, Shimmer. Hi, Shimmer. She's dressed as Shimmer still. <laughs> uh, I gotta pop in and grab some gas, however, because I'm running. Gas? Yeah, I gotta go grab some gas for the car, baby, so that way we can drive it. I gotta go to the bank. Uh, and then we're gonna make a uh, stop right after this gas station. I'll explain more as soon as I'm done Done in here. Okay, I lied. I need to go to the bank first because I forgot it's Saturday and they're gonna close So I need to deposit my check Before they do that. Yeah, I'm gonna check baby. Uh, I am gonna check however real quick if I have any deposit slips Which I do. Oops. So I'll just need <clears throat> I'll need a pen What oh, baby? Catboy toy. Thing that we're kind of doing today, which is a little bit. This That's guy's not gonna let me go because you're being a butthead. <laughs> oh, wow, that was like blatantly like I'm not this letting you go. Anyways, yesterday in the mail, um, I hadn't checked the mailbox all week, which is boring information for you, but it's important um, because I ended up getting a ton of mail at once. So I was going through yesterday. And I got this package. Um, I didn't really know what it was. I still don't really know what it was. It's it's from, I don't know, I can't read it in the car. Um, but basically, we're going to this place. I, I won a prize. So like in that envelope uh, was like a pamphlet and it had almost what looked like a scratch ticket, um, but it was almost like a peel off ticket. And if you won, uh, matching numbers you win a prize so I ended up calling and I said hey I won a prize <laughs> so he said that's you know congratulations you need to come in and claim it so I this could be a total gimmicky thing like a total like I'm gonna get there and they're gonna be like hey, your prize is you know fifty dollars toward a new car because I think it's like for a car dealership I don't know I'll know more when we get to the location um, but I don't know, that's why I figured I'd turn on the camera and kind of experience this with you guys because I don't, I have no idea, not a clue what to expect this morning. Purple pop, baby. I think it's too early for a purple pop, sweetie. I don't know. Last time we were here, they didn't really have one. And you have so much candy at home from trick or treating the other day. We don't need another purple pop today, baby girl. Okay, good. Hey, there's a pen. So let me fill this out real quick, and then while we're stopped, I'll show you guys kind of what I mean about like the winning ticket thing. Um, yeah, I made crap this week. 
I missed a, l a lot of work last week because I was so, so sick. So I think I was only paid for like the couple of hours that I was there on Friday. I'm like, you should have just not given me a paycheck. <laughs> okay. I actually got to deposit this because I got to pay my credit card bill in about a week or so. So that's fun. I was like, where the heck did that thing go? You are a shimmer baby. Do you like your costume still? Yeah. Good. Shine. Good. Because it wasn't expensive. Shine. I mean, it wasn't cheap. Shine. 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 Maybe, maybe we'll find a shine when we go trick or treating. Hang on. Let me show you guys this really quick because then um, I need my GPS to get to where we're going. But basically, this is what I won. And then you can see here that I have a matching row of dollar bills. So they said just to bring in everything that you got in the mail and then your ID so they can match, confirm that it's you. And then we're gonna win a prize, so we'll see. Okay, seriously, it was literally seconds away from my bank. And I was right, we're at a auto dealership. I don't know, I don't know. Come in and find out with me. You see what I mean? I I'm not sure. Come on, honey. Come on, baby. Two. Oh, good jump. You would. You'd be almost insulted. Hi, baby. So we were just told to sit. We we're just waiting on somebody to give us more information. Guys, all I can do is laugh at this one. <laughs> That's my reaction exactly. Oh, oh, I want a prize. I want a cash prize. You ready for this one? <laughs> I almost. I want two dollars. <laughs> what? Oh my god. So <laughs> that was that was an experience. So I go in. They have us just sit at the table and wait for somebody. This guy comes over. Mind you, I'm at a car dealership, so I already know kind of what's coming. So they're talking about cars and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I said, you know, my car is a lease due in, up in January. Uh, you know, we're kind of looking for cars, but not really. Um, <laughs> and then the guy's like, well, you won something. So he's like, let's go over to the prize board. And there was like a $10,000 grand prize, a Nintendo Switch, another prize, and then it said like all other numbers, $2. <laughs> so my winning number was a $2 bill. I couldn't, literally couldn't have thought of a, <laughs> of a bigger waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm la oh, oh my god. I can't even. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. They didn't have to give me anything. This is just gonna go right in Ella's piggy bank. I just kind of found it funny. So then the first guy I talked to went, and went to go get my $2, and then another guy sits down and starts talking to me about a car and like really hackling me at this point. So I'm like, I, I, said, I don't know what I walked into. I said, this. I called a woman. She said to come in, and that's the end of it. I'm not looking for a car right now. So the guy pretty much just like shook my hand and left. And then I, the other guy wasn't back with the two dollars. I'm like, I'm not waiting for two dollars. Just get me out of here. And like as I was walking out the door, he gave me the two bucks. I'm like, that was so stupid. <laughs> but you know what? It did make me laugh. It did kind of. It, it was funny. It. it but you know what though, all day yesterday I was like, oh my god, what if it's, you know, a big cash prize, I can't wait to call and tell TJ. Oh, I can't wait to call TJ and tell him about this one. Of course, as soon as I turn onto the street that I want to start vlogging on, the sun's in the way. Believe it or not, there's a lot of bumps. Uh, this is our second, my second to last day of uh, my haunted house job. I can't even believe how fast it went. Um, <coughs> you know, it was 
a full month and a half between orientation uh, till tomorrow. Tonight might actually be my last day um, because tomorrow, Sunday, is we're supposed to get a lot of rain. So there's rumor that they may not even be open. So this could potentially be my last shift. Um, I think they, they do hold like award ceremonies and stuff. So I don't know how that would work if we're closed. I don't know if we'd still, you know, have the party or something. I have to go into work early tomorrow if we're open for a little pre-party and then an, a ceremony afterwards. So, um, but I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm gonna be in costume again. I've been in costume every day, every shift that I've worked, except for yesterday. Um, I was outside and I was like in the express pass um, scanning people's wristbands um, but we're actually driving we have to park off-site today because it's gonna be so busy I'm actually passing the buses here uh, so let me pull in find myself a parking spot get settled and then uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit after our last potentially last shift of this season I think I might go back next year um, I was actually offered uh, to be a makeup artist, to train as a makeup artist, um, but also I was recommended for guest services because of, um, I guess I did well yesterday when I was scanning people's VIP passes, so I'm going to try to be strategic about this parking, and I think I'm going to like, because this parking lot's going to fill up fast, so I think I'm going to park it right here. A little bit of a walk to the bus, but not bad. I have my lanyard. Making sure I don't forget anything because I forgot something last time. My water bottle. I think we're good. Here's that. <laughs> okay. I was on a school bus. I'm just gonna tack on this part to yesterday's uh, vlog when the last time I saw you guys I had gotten on that school bus. So I'm so bummed out that it ended up being our last day. We got rained out today as so much family who's coming including TJ today. So I was really disappointed that like they didn't actually get to see me in action. Um, but you know I am planning on now um, going back next year. I was kind of teetering um, but I think I'm gonna go back. I mean, things may change by next October, but as of right now, that's kind of my plans. Um, today, even though the park is not open for, like, the haunts, um, we are still gonna have our, like, end of the season pizza party and award ceremony and stuff. So that is where I'm heading off to now. Um, I still have to have, like, my little access pass, but I'm just dressed super casually because like I said it's a rainy day today out today so I'm off to go do that it was so much fun I just can't believe the season is over so as of right now for a job I don't really know what I'm gonna do um I think I'm just gonna come back to you know staying at home and just taking care of the home uh, I do have to show you guys something though I don't know if you remember uh in the vlog that I did when we were in the hotel, I showed you guys how bruised I was from a particular room I worked. Well, I worked that room again, and you can't really tell, but this hand is so swollen, and like my palm is all bruised, and my knuckles are bruised. Mm. It's always this arm that tends to get the worst of it. This right here, let me block that light. This right here is just one giant bruise. And then one more bigger bruise. <laughs> I, oh, I'm in so much pain. My, my, I lost my voice again. Um, but like I said, the season is over. It was a fantastic season. It was such a good experience. Really good for a resume. So we'll see what new adventure we're off to next. But I got to hop in the car. Ella was just picked up by TJ's mom. So I'm going to go drive uh, to the location to have some pizza. <laughs> That was so much fun, you guys. That was awesome. So we got there. I kind of got like a quick clip I'll throw in just like of the stage. 
Um, but basically all of us houses, all the ops team, um, everybody who worked on Scream Fest went to this event. I'm sorry, I should buckle my seatbelt, but I'm going to be home in a second. <laughs> Um, it was amazing. I mean, we got there about 3. It's about 5.30 now. Um, we got like paid for the whole thing. Like we clocked in. It was amazing. Amazing end to it. Awesome season. I have something so cool to show you guys. But I'm just going to wait a second. I'll be home in just a minute. So I will let you guys know while I'm still driving. Um, next, we are going to go off to my mom's for Sunday dinner. Uh, to we're gonna have a cake for my stepdad because his his birthday falls on Halloween so it's coming right around the corner um, literally uh, so we'll we'll have a cake for him so TJ and Ella are gonna meet me there um, a little after six because TJ went to <coughs> went to his mom's but let me park I am so unbelievably excited and proud of myself, but I won. I won an award for uh, Rookie of the Year for my house. So there's five different houses. Well, there's technically six. There's actually a lot, but there's like five haunted attractions. And I was in house one, the hotel, and I won the rookie for my house. And I just, I feel amazing because half the time that I was there, I kind of felt like I kept screwing up or I wasn't like doing my best or giving it my all. So I really, really, really tried. And I was in shock. Like when they mentioned my name, I was literally like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like I felt like I won an Oscar. I felt amazing. Like I just feel so giddy and on top of the world. And like these little things really, really, really matter to me and give me that boost of confidence. So. Like I said, I think I'll be going back next year. Plans could change, but I am looking to become a makeup artist slash actor for next year. This definitely proved to me that I have more potential than I ever give myself credit for, and I am so unbelie unbelievably excited. I haven't showed TJ. I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna throw this in my pocketbook because um, we also got a T-shirt. Yes, we got a t-shirt for the season of 2017, so I'm going to throw both in my bag, and I'm going to show my family, including TJ, for the first time, and I'm so excited. <laughs>